Thank you. Happening right now, you are looking at a live shot from Air Tracker 7 above the western steps of the state capitol. Students and teachers are gathering there to ask lawmakers to do more to try to reduce gun violence. All Denver public schools are off of school today for a mental health day after Wednesday's shooting at East High School. A student shot and injured two administrators and later killed himself. We have team coverage this morning, starting with Denver 7's Veronica Acosta, who is live there at the state capitol. Veronica, tell us what it's like. Well, instead of taking that mental health day, uh, Jason, a lot of these teachers, these students, teenagers, even younger kids, their parents, they decided to come out to the state capitol and, and rally here. You can see kind of the crowd that has really built in the past half hour or so. So many people showing up with their own signs that, you know, obviously took some time to make. Uh, we've spoken with one staff member. She worked over at East High School. She's a career counselor. She had a really interesting sign. Her said something along the lines of her cashier worked at Boulder King Supers when the shooting happened there. Her boss was at Columbine when the shooting happened there. She had a high school classmate who was in that Aurora theater when that shooting happened. And her student, Luis Garcia, you know, as we know, he was the student that was shot and killed last month. So she was just kind of sending the message that she's been around this for so long now. And she says she's really ready for some change. You can hear so many people chanting at this moment now. Uh, trying to get their message across. Just take a listen here for a second. <laughs> They're talking about those gun reform bills that they really, really want passed. Of course, we're going to stick around. We're going to talk to some of the teenagers, uh, some of the parents who decided to bring their younger kids here as well. And we'll bring you another update in about 30 minutes or so. Jason. Yeah, protect our protect kids, not guns and books, not guns. Some of the signs you see there behind Veronica. Veronica, thank you for that live report. Now, a lot of red in that crowd, red being one of the school colors of East High School. And that's where our Bayon Wang is this morning at the school where there is a group of parents meeting there with a dean. So let's get the perspective uh, from some people out there. Bayon. Yeah, Jason, these are the same group of parents behind me that were standing in that exact position as they were waiting for their student to slowly be released to them after finding out that two of the deans at this campus were shot. Now they're back here having a conversation, a very important conversation. They want to see some real change happen. So I'm here with the group's organizer, one of the group's organizers, Steve Katsero. Steve, what is it that you guys want to see done? Well, um, we're, without getting into specifics, the main thing right now is we see all these silos of parents. We're trying to get everybody interconnected and talking together. So we're building a platform to have our, teach, or, you know, our parents talking to each other. Uh, so to that point, um, we have an email address set up. We're trying to um, capture the, the parents' names and, and uh, numbers that want to get involved. And then uh, we're going to make our recommendations uh, to the Collaborative School Committee and to Superintendent Marrero. It's my understanding that you guys already came up with some common ideas or ideas you're going over right now. What, what, what are some of those? Uh, it's a little premature because those would be my ideas. What's really important to express here is I'm not the leader of this group. This isn't a hub and spoke. Um, right here we have, you know, does two dozen parents that are just starting this process of capturing all of their ideas. It's all the things that everybody's been talking about. This needs to be a campus with secure perimeter. We need to probably have some, uh, well, we now are going to have SROs in the building. Uh, there's a lot of mental health issues with the teachers. I mean, the teachers are a real big part of this because um, they're doing the work of the police department now. These are teachers. They aren't police officers. So there's a lot of things that need to change, and we're going to make our recommendations once we've gone through the process. And obviously, classes canceled today, probably for good reason. These kids need a break. Um, you went to the DPS Board of Education meeting yesterday. Yes. You were not aware that they're going to have the safety discussions behind closed doors for nearly five hours. Um, but you did tell me there are some specific things you'd like to know a little bit more about when it comes to the safety plan. Well, yeah. The, what I took from it was transparency. Is that, is that yeah, Yes, and uh, thank you for bringing that up. I think that, that uh, everything has been shrouded in mystery and behind closed doors here. Um, this, is, this is our institution. This is East High School, right? DPS is a function of our society. Um, why is everything so quiet? Why is everything so hidden? They're hiding the ball, and we just want to know are our kids safe to come back? Our teachers aren't going to come back unless they know they're safe. And I don't blame them. I will support them. I will pick it with them. Mm. But uh, 
uh, d during the press conference yesterday, something I asked the DPS superintendent is uh, essentially, why did it take somebody to get shot at the campus for there to be some sort of action? And that action is reinstating an armed officer at this particular school. And the reason I asked him that question is because there was indicators that gun violence is prevalent here. In September, a student was shot in the face right there two at students, that property. Two students. One two recent graduate right. of East, another student, and a third was arrested who purportedly had the gun in the school that day. And, who and knows then, if it's true or not? And then in February, of course, we had the fatal shooting of Luis yes. Garcia, who died just, on the first of this right month. there on the corner. And yeah. so you have... You have a couple hundred yards this way, two kids shot, one other, a third kid uh, act, act involved in the incident. You have Luis Garcia's here, you know, and then we have just, just what is that, 200 feet here, uh, you know, uh, two, two deans shot, and then, uh, you know, culminates with yet more gun violence through a suicide. And, and that was the purpose of the question with all of this going on, um, did, you know, so Marrero essentially said that it's hard to measure um, when to take action because it's such a difficult situation, but when it happened within build, the building, um, he felt compelled. It, it, is that good enough for you? I don't want to do a retrospective of what hasn't been done. I think that that doesn't move us forward. I, I will say, uh, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back, okay, fine. It, was it the fact that adults were shot? I, I don't know. Was right. it the fact that it was in the... I don't care. But today, what's going to change? Mm -hmm. We'll leave it at that. Thanks, Thank Steve. You. Good to see you again. You Take care. All right, from my understanding, a group of these parents are going to start trickling over to the Capitol to make their voices heard on those steps. Back to you. Our Bayon Wang reporting there from East High School. And, of course, we will continue our coverage of this large demonstration there at the state capitol in the wake of the student shooting two administrators there at Denver East's high school on Wednesday. Students and teachers, they want lawmakers to pass stronger, stronger gun control laws. We will check back in with our crews live there from the state capitol in just a few minutes. More news with Brian Sanders, Nicole Brady, and I after this short break.